Hello everybody and welcome back to your favourite FIFA series on YouTube, it's Be A Goalkeeper, episode 51. Today we have a big episode in store for you, also stay to the end because I need your help with a decision I need to make. Also if you have been enjoying the series don't forget to subscribe, we're trying to hit 2k subscribers by the end of the year, smash that like button into the top corner, turn your notifications on and let's get into this episode. One more thing quickly, I did have a lot of trouble with the footage so if it does look a bit weird I apologise but hopefully next episode will be a load better. But anyway the first game of the episode is against Oxford United in the round of 3 in the FA Cup away from home and we started this game off pretty quickly, Osman with the first attempt on goal, it's on target, the keeper makes a decent enough save, doesn't quite get the power behind the shot, he finessing it on the inside of his boot keeper gets a good hand to it pushes out for a corner skip to the 13th minute we finally get the ball into the box it falls to Diaz who gets his first goal for Arsenal left footed the keeper does not cover himself in glory but it's a decent enough strike it's actually our cam I think it's M hand or Mahand on the left wing and he drives it into the box and pass it across to Ozzyman who gets tackled and it falls perfectly to Diaz but the keeper I don't know what's going on with keepers, you'll see a lot of funky stuff going on. I don't know what EA have done, but after the patch, which they released FIFA 23 by accident, keepers don't seem to be very good, and I don't know why. Even I've been struggling, the animations seem a little bit dodgy, but that animation was perfect. Good save, two hands to it. They shouldn't beat me from that far out, to be honest. I'm way too good to be conceding against Oxford. But in the 21st minute, they do actually score a goal, and I've let myself down big time. They proved me wrong there. I have had an absolute mare. I thought he was going to go across the goal, he didn't, he went at the near post, I moved that little step across and caught me off guard, you can see easy enough pass, he could have passed it across as well, no one comes across really, the centre back, I think it's actually Diaz from centre mid comes to close him down but he hits it, take that little step to my right and just let the ball go in, it's pretty poor for me, I don't really know why I've done this but there we go, but then this is what I'm talking about, how funky is this, I dived the right way and I don't know if it's the animation or he hit the ball so bad that it tricked me because I should be saving this one every day of the week. Look at that, I dive over the ball, it's pretty bad and I was kind of mad, I'm not going to lie. Look, he just hits it, I dive and just dive straight over the ball. So that's 2-1, we're losing to Oxford United, what is going on? They take another long range effort there, easy enough for me, but now look at this, our winger party. I don't know why he's on the wing, Arteta loves to put centre mids out wide. Not sure why, but Partey gets inside the box and he finds that top corner beautifully. Was not expecting that from the centre mid. More of a CDM if I'm honest, but he's been put out wide. Diaz has been put centre mid. Arted is all over the place. He's mixing up, I suppose. But look at that. He runs off the left back, doesn't get followed, hits it first time. And find that top corner is not an easy feat from that sort of angle. Keeper does make a dive, but he's not long enough. Doesn't react quick enough. Finds that side net in top corner. we are tied this game 2-2. And now again, Partey in the box. He drills it low. If you could say that, that is shocking. And this is what I'm talking about. Keepers are so dodgy now. I don't know if it's just this game or what, but I have no idea. The run from part is beautiful. The pass from Ozzyman as well. He hits it first time. There's no power behind that at all. That's easy enough. He could have just fell to the floor and blocked it. He's had a nightmare there. Look at this. It dribbles across the floor and it's just shocking. I know keepers should make mistakes, but that many already in this game. It's still the first half. It's ridiculous. And another one. From the outside of the box, this time it's Mahand, I believe it is. There he is, the youngster, with his possible first goal he scored. And the keeper once again. The ball played by the right back, outside to the edge of the box. He hits it first time again, just dribbles straight to him. And he's done a weird dive, just full forward or full sideways, but he's not. He's fallen backwards, tried doing something. It's just terrible. That puts us into lead 4-2. There's been six goals scored in the first half and that is where the half ends. So it's ridiculous stuff. Maybe this is what the FA Cup's all about. A lower league team playing against a Premier League team but maybe they shouldn't be conceding so many goals. The keeper finally decides to make a decent save. This time it's Mahand again. First times it once more across the goal. Bit too close to the keeper, gets a strong fingertip to it, pushes it wide. We definitely took this game over, but not much happened up until the 83rd minute. So M hand again, and look at that, outside the box, edge of the box, finds that near post. Keeper once more, a bit suspect, but I'm not going to be too harsh on him this time. But look at the run, the play is beautiful, one twos, he's back across. No defender closed them down and two defenders are actually blocking the eye line of the goalkeeper. The near post is found. It's a decent strike though. Keeper does put an effort into it. Not reacting quick enough. I don't blame him too much for that one. But 5-2 and we're still not done. This time it's Muriel who gets on the score sheet. He's just come on making it 6-2. And that is one of those goals where you need the objective. You have to get a certain player to score a goal. So he passed back to him. 
the pass into Muriel, he lays it off to Sambi, who passes it back to Muriel, doesn't like to shoot, and that is it, 6-2, Oxford have absolutely been demolished, I was worried at the beginning when we conceded those two stupid goals, but that is full time, 6-2 is ridiculous, five shots against me, two conceded, the first one I will take full blame for, the second one I'm not going to take any blame for, the AI dummy so dirty with that one, but now we have to move on to the next game in the Premier League against Chelsea, away from home once more, the London derby, Chelsea a pretty good team we're all fighting for those top four positions even to win the league it's so close Chelsea had the first effort which wasn't too good we get our first effort and Puedo tucks it into the back of the net he is back from his injury and he is scoring goals galore once again this goal comes for Ozzyman pass it to party and I don't know why party is doing so well on the wing maybe Arteta sees something in him but He's playing beautifully out there, past the Ozzy man who finds Poeda in a lot of space. He actually ran into offside position, came back, the centre-back didn't follow him at all, hits it first time, it just chips it over the keeper's legs, Mendy's legs, and there it is, 1-0. Not really deserved, but we will take it, 1-0 at half-time as well. Not a lot happened in this game, if I'm honest. The opportunity from Chelsea are opportunity, and that's it for the first half. We get taken out there, Diaz takes a long-range effort, and Mendy makes a save. And this is a new animation I've started seeing a lot more. I don't know what is happening with these animations. Maybe I just don't see them that often, but it's always good to see new things in a game you've played for a little bit. It's a good strong hand. I don't know about the legs, he could have just stood there, but he had to make it look good for the cameras. And then they get their equaliser, 65th minute, and again, this is all my fault. I have been done dirty by the effort. Richarlison, I thought he was going to take the shot on his right foot. You can see it. I move again, this time to my left. He passes it across to Chiesa. He finds that near post. And to be fair, he just tucks it in the near post. It skims the post. I flay the leg out pointlessly. But there we go, tied up. They get another opportunity. Easy enough save for me. Once again, I do have to move a little bit. It's Pulisic with the effort this time. And once again, I step to my left. I need to stop moving when I'm on my line. I'm setting myself up for disaster. Not being able to set myself for the save. But that is it. 1-1 at half time. Not a lot happened. A lot of shots were just blocked. But now we move on to the next game, which is against Manchester United. My favourite team. And they are top of the league. And you're going to see why. Maybe. Maybe not. But we have started this game. Diaz gets a little flick into Puedo. He takes a little touch. Hits it at the near post. There was a defender on the line. But De Gea makes that save. And we have started this game very strong. As Puedo this time. He does tuck it into the back of the net. But he is offside. And it is literally such a good run. He just missed times. That the defender stays still this time. Does a very good job to be fair. Osman did very well to find him. But look at that. Just runs too early. The defender didn't actually know where he was. I think it's Jimenez. But now United get their first opportunity. It's Calvert-Lewin pass across the Brand And he finds the back of it on the volley. It's a good goal. But it's very disappointing from our end. We've done so well in the beginning. And we've let ourselves down. Rosier doesn't close down Calvert-Lewin quick enough. Gives him the time. He just chips it across to Brand, Who has the audacity to try the scissor kick. And he does find it back there. I try coming across. Not quick enough. It's a good stroke to be fair to him. Hits with decent enough power. Can't react. And that is the first goal. And I'm just kind of annoyed. Look at that. My hands do get out. But I kind of lift them over the ball. Pretty poor for me. Pretty poor defensively. But attacking. We've had so many opportunities. And they've all come from Puedo. And once again. He can't find the back of the net. This time with a header. Which we haven't scored a lot of in the whole season. But it does rise highest. In front of the right back. On the way to the back of the net. And De Gea it once again with the save. This time Ozzyman chips into the middle of the box. As Puedo's there again. This time he can find the back of the net. He heads it nice and low. And De Gea can't get down quick enough. And he ties this game up with a header. Ozzyman with the provider this time. Which is ridiculous. He should be in the box. He's loads taller than Puedo. But Puedo rises like a salmon. And heads it right down to the bottom corner. It's good to see Ozzyman making these runs down the lanes and the chip on his left foot. Poedo, I don't know how he beat Sule and Jimenez to get this ball. He's a good 4-5 inches smaller than him, but he rises highest, gets over Sule and somehow flicks it on his head. That's a beautiful goal to be fair to him and he will take that and that is level at half time. 1-1. One, one. Brant, Poedo, both good goals to be fair. Both a little bit different, but I believe we have enough in this to win this game because we have made so many opportunities. Ozzyman with the bicycle kick. He tried up in Brand and again De Gea makes a save. Once more with the save there. This time with a better opportunity. Hits it hard, but De Gea is so good for some reason whenever he plays against us. The defenders have let him down, but he is keeping the game all tied up. It's a good save, left-handed again, pushing it out for a corner. But we have made so many opportunities, we just can't be clinical in these situations again. Man United but get an opportunity, I make the easy enough save. And then I get subbed off, three shots against, one save, 6.4 rating, a bit harsh to be honest. And that is where the game ends, 1-1. 
So it's two big draws for us to be fair. Drawing 1-1 against Chelsea and Man United both in the top four and in the top of the table. But now we're back to the FA Cup already. This time it's against Newcastle. They get the first opportunity. Wood has a poor touch and I gather that at his feet. But we get our first opportunity and this time we score from it. I think it's Mahand again. He loves the FA Cup. Always scoring in it. And again, this is a beautiful play. Zambi on the left wing passes to Osman, lays it across to Mahood. First time, once more, he will hit it whenever he gets the opportunity to. I just realised I've been calling him Mahood, but it's Mahand. <laughs> it's like the hood, Mahand. Same thing, Mahand scores again in the FA Cup. Either way, we're in the lead. Newcastle get a little opportunity here. The ball just bounces around the box and he hits it on the half volley, but he can't quite find the target. It's a good strike, to be fair to him. Left foot, but it hits it into the floor just past the post. I probably would have made the save. I'm nearly there anyway. But we are still leading 1 0. This time, a great run by Mahand again. Can't quite find the back of the net. The keeper makes a good save and he can't recycle the ball either. So we lose possession. Rosier to Ozerman. He finds the back of there. His first goal of the game in added time of the first half. And everyone loves to hit this ball first time. It must be sank in the code or sank. It's ridiculous. No one actually takes a touch. Just well it as hard as they can as soon as the ball comes to him through the defender's legs. The keeper couldn't really see the ball. I can't blame him for that one. He does give it a good effort. Good old college try, but he can't get his hands to the ball. And we are leading 2 0 going into the half time interval. Start of the second half. Hopefully, we can get a few more goals to make it a little bit easier for ourselves. Next goal is probably going to be the deciding one. Rosier tries to cross, falls to my hand again. And the Newcastle keeper makes a fantastic save. Darlo, this is a ridiculous save. My hand hits it so hard here, gets a strong hand to it, pushes it out wide. It's a beautiful save. You've got to give him credit for that one. And again, he gets down low, but this time falls to Diaz, who finishes it off. And that is why you follow up on the back post. You don't know what's ever going to fall to you. Cry kicks the corner flag, but the keeper's going to be very disappointed. He does everything right, gets down low, pushes it out wide, but Diaz is just there, tucks it into the back. The easiest goal of his life to put us into the lead 3 0. He still goes for the side net as well. The left back doesn't follow him. And that is where this game ends. We win 3-0 and move on to the next round of the FA Cup. I have one shot against no save. Darlow had 10 against him. Save 7. But this is where I need your help. Bayern Munich have come in with a massive offer for myself. Even more than Arsenal paid for me. And I need your help whether to go or stay. Remember, we are still in the Carabao Cup and FA Cup with Arsenal, and we could win the league. But Bayern Munich, always in the Champions League, always winning the Bundesliga. This is a big opportunity for myself, but Arsenal are still a big team in England. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, look after yourself, stay safe, and I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.